Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and this short video will be about my small art supplies haul from Jackson's Art. I got this delivery couple of weeks ago and I still didn't have time to film this, so I hope that now I will show you everything I have purchased and finally I will be able to put them into storage into their places. So let's have a look. First of all, I have purchased a couple of brushes. Again, brushes by Jackson's Art by their own brand, but I do love their brushes. They have normal prices and decent quality. I have this very old brush. I found it in set of water-based, water-soluble pencils for children, but brush was surprisingly good and very convenient when I colored with ink tense pencils in Lizzie Mary Cullen's book, this brush was very helpful. But from time it started to lose its thin tip, so now it's not very convenient, not very comfortable to use, and I decided to purchase something new. It wasn't easy to select brush size only looking on the screen, but I selected sizes 4 and 5 and I do love them. If you have watched my video about Christmas wreaths from Magical Christmas, which I published a couple of days ago, there I already started to use my bigger brush number 5 and I was quite happy. I love the thin tip, I love that it helps me to control pigment of ink tense pencil so it's not extremely soft because it's synthetic and I'm quite happy with this simple but necessary purchase. Next I decided to purchase inks for my Molotov markers. You know that apart from Posca pens I also love to use Molotovs. Mostly I love this size um, one millimeter and as they are refillable I decided that I also will purchase this acrylic, liquid acrylic ink, something like this. It's titanium white. I don't know yet how to refill them. I will need to check this instruction. But anyway, even if I won't be able to refill them, you, I can use them as a, this liquid, as a liquid acrylic paint. I love it because it provides me with a very vibrant and at the same time a very opaque white color which is totally capable to mask black lines. And it's a very helpful now during winter time when I need to mask so many black lines on the snow pictures. Talking about markers. I also purchased a couple of Posca. You know that thanks to Rahel who sent me a lot of Poscas, I already have a huge collection of them, but I decided that I also need grey colors. Unfortunately, grey colors were available only in 3M size, which isn't my favorite. This one is 0 0.9 or 1 and 3 millimeters and I definitely prefer PC1M which is smaller. Let me show you the nib. It's a little bit too big for my taste. But I do love that this one is slate gray and this one is gray. I think that now it's time to start testing something on the paper. Let me adjust my camera. Camera. Focus. It was gray and this one is slightly darker slate gray. Why I purchased them? It's because I need to mask black lines even when I color gray fur. And I hope that these markers will be helpful for gray animals. Next, I decided that I need something new. 
uh, on my coloring channel and I decided that I want to color more with alcohol-based markers. I have some small stash of them, my old Copic Chow markers and some of old Pro markers. So I checked which colors I like, which colors I need to add. From Copic line I selected these three Chow markers, all of them in a very muted colors. I would say it's like dusty rose. I definitely have a lack of pastel colors in my set, so that's why I selected colors like this. They are V91, V95 and RV95, which is slightly reddish. Also, I decided to try Korean brand, it's Touch. Touch has two lines of markers. I selected a line with brush tip. I can color with nib tip, but brush tip, which I have on Copic Chow or here, is my favorite. So I purchased a couple of green colors because I always in search of greens. Darker and lighter. What I do like is the touch markers, they are refillable, so it's definitely good. And apart from these individual markers, I also purchased a couple of sets. Here I have greens again, but this is uh, pro markers by Winsor & Newton. They are not refillable, but I definitely liked the idea of all green markers. Maybe a couple of them are too bright, but still, I needed greens and I have purchased them. They have similar sets for yellow-brown color, for rose and violet. And let's test what we have here. Starting from some pastel colors. Even this one isn't that bad as its cover. And I do love this dark green. These markers are with Bali tip. Unfortunately, the brush types weren't available when I did my order. And touch markers, I selected this set of wood colors. Here we have also six colors. On the back we have the full palette of touches. I would say that I love how touches feel exactly the same like Copics. They are very soft, very vibrant, so they are great. And they do love variety of brown colors in this set. I didn't have enough browns in my old markers and now I'm pretty well equipped. And finally I want to show you these bottles. I have five of them. These three bottles on the right, they are acrylic ink, so it's like a very liquid acrylic paint. I 
decided to test them because I heard a lot of good things about a white liquid acrylic ink that it's capable to mask black lines. On Jackson's art there were white acrylic inks from various brands. I selected Deller Roni and here I have white. You can see that it's marked as white. I already tested it on my colored pages a um, couple of days ago I posted picture from Seasons with two birds and two candles and there to mask black lines on the halo around candle I used this liquid acrylic ink and I was quite happy. They were indeed very opaque, they were capable to mask black lines and in the same time it created a very smooth coverage as it has less dense texture comparing to normal acrylic paint or gouache paint or even Molotov. They are almost invisible. When you touch you don't feel it, so you are capable to work on top of them with all pencil brands and it's easier to put something on top of this acrylic ink. Apart from this I have this color for the light skin tone, again for masking black lines on the portraits in coloring books. And as a final color I selected indigo, simply because indigo you can use everywhere. A background with indigo can be always helpful and I simply love this rich blue color. But this acrylic ink is transparent, we have this mark which indicates that it's transparent. They all are light fast. This one is semi-transparent. Now let me show you my test. I already did it. Here I put black line with my black pen, then I covered it with white, with indigo and with flesh. And I wouldn't say that this one is semi-opaque and this is transparent. They all were capable to mask this black line perfectly. And I do love how they covered paper. I am very pleased with this purchase and I look forward to use them on my coloring books. And of course I will share with you my opinion about this medium after I will use them on a couple of pictures more. And finally here I have two bottles of Ecoline, it's a liquid of watercolor. I already had three bottles of Ecolines before. Here are colors which I had. Probably if you follow my channel you were able to see how I used these colors for Maria Trolle background and I did love how they covered paper, how they mixed together. They are uh, very toler tolerable to the thin paper and I decided that I need more colors. It was difficult to decide exactly of what colors I needed, so in the end I purchased this one which is <laughs> pastel pink. Let me show you once more how pastel pinks, pastel blooms, sorry guys. I I talk nonsense, but it's pastel blue. Hope that my brush is clean. Inside the bottle we have this interesting cap, so you can put drops of your liquid watercolor on the palette. And that's my pastel blue color. I decided that it will be very helpful for the backgrounds which represent a water or sky. So blue probably is the most helpful color. And second, I decided to purchase this, I believe that it's something like blue-green. I tested it here, it can be from 
turquoise color if you use a little bit of water to quite intense blue green and I hope that it also will be helpful for the backgrounds like underwater, like oceans and even for snow pictures when you need to add some color to the, to the snow, to the ice. So I hope that I will be able to use them for Tamogata Shira and for other pictures. That was my a very small order from Jackson's Art, but still I am very happy because all things I I already know where I want to use them and all colors are very helpful exactly what I needed and of course I'm happy that I decided to add something new to my channel and I intend to do more colorings with acrylic with alcohol based markers in the next year starting from January probably thanks for watching and until the next videos